In this video, I'll be showing you some useful commands in Command Prompt. Command Prompt is a very powerful tool that is never really utilized in Windows by many users. Here we'll show you 20 tricks and tips that you can use in Command Prompt. First, open the Command Prompt from the Start menu. To change the color of the text and the background in Command Prompt, if you just type in color help, this will give you the different codes that you can use. So if I type in you can see that it's changed the background color there and the text. We can also change it again. And if you want to change it back to the default, the default code for that is 07. If we want to get the IP address of any website, we can use the ping command. The ping command is used to test the reachability of a host. So if we type in You can see that that ping command is now gone and got the IP address for weather.com. The ping command is particularly useful if you're trying to troubleshoot issues with a certain website or host, or whether you're experiencing issues with your local machine. By default, the title in command prompt is called command prompt, but if you want to change that, you can use the title command and you can put a new title to whatever you want. So if we put new, title you can see there that that's now changed the title the task list command this will give you the list of tasks currently running on your computer along with process ID session details and memory usage if you want to see more details those tasks you can run the task list forward slash view switch this will show the tasks with more details which include username, CPU time, Windows title and status. So once you've run a task list to get all the processes that are running on your machine, you can use the task kill command. This is a command that will kill the process that is currently running on your computer. So you can type it in task kill with the PID switch which is for the process ID so I'll put a process ID in here so that will go ahead and kill the process now if we run a task list again you can see that the process is no longer running if you want to kill a application that's running on your computer, you can run the with the task kill command with the IM switch. And if you want to close down all the Firefox instances, you can run that. That has then sent a kill command to all of those. You can see them running just above there in the task list that we run. So if we run another task list, you can see that they are no longer running. You can get a list of all the commands you've actually run in command prompt by typing in DOS key history. This will give you a list there of all the commands that you've previously run. You can also press F7, which will also give you a display of your previous commands. There's also a number of shortcut keys that you can use in Command Prompt, which will give you access to commands and to access folders a lot quicker. You can also use the tab command, which will give you access to folders and autocomplete information for you a lot quicker so if we just have a look at the folders in this directory here and if you want to change into a particular folder you can type in the the start of a folder so if we type in the downloads and press tab see that auto completes that there 
And if you want to go favorites, for example, type in the stat FAV. And if you hit tab there, that will auto complete the folder for you. Enter, and that allows you to change into the folder quicker. So you don't have to complete the full word. If you press tab, that will auto complete that for you. If you find that you're seeing too much information in command prompt, you can go ahead and clear your screen by using the CLS command. You can use the CLS command to clear your screen, which helps keep your command window tidy. You can open a website from the command prompt by using the start command, followed by the website that you want to open. You can check if your command prompt is open with administrator rights by typing in the net session command. It says access denied there, so this command prompt isn't currently running under admin rights. So if we close that down and go down to the start menu, type in command prompt there. You can see down the right hand side you've got open as administrator. You can also right click on command prompt and open that way as well. So if we type net session again there, you can see that there's no entries in the list, so you don't get the access denied message. And you can also see the administrator rights in the title bar for command prompt. The tree command. The tree command displays directory paths and files in each subdirectory. When you use the tree command, each directory name is displayed along with the names of any subdirectories within it. This gives an easy to use graphical representation of where every file is located. Another thing you can do in command prompt is you can copy and save the command prompt output and you can copy that to clipboard. So if we just look at what is in this directory here, you can see there's a number of folders. And if we run the following command, di alpha directory, pipe and then clip which will go ahead and copy everything to the clipboard for that directory. Okay, so that's gone ahead and done that. So if we go over to Notepad here and paste in what we have copied, we can see that everything from our clipboard is now copied across to Notepad. To get a list of programs installed on your computer, you can use the following command. So WMIC product get name will go ahead and get a list of all the programs that are installed on your computer. You can use a number of shutdown commands in command prompt. If you type in shutdown and if you use the switch minus S that will go ahead and shut down your computer for you. You can use it with the dash R switch which will go ahead and restart the computer. You can use it shut down with the dash L command that will go ahead and log your session off. The command I like to use is dash R for restarting, dash F which will forcefully close any processes and dash T which is time. So you can specify a time period there. So that's saying it's going to wait zero seconds so that will restart the computer that will terminate any services that are actually running and that has a time specified as zero seconds so that will go ahead and restart the computer straight away. You can get details of your system by typing in the system info command. So here you'll be able to get all the details of your machine, when the operating system was installed, how much memory is installed, uh, hard drive size and other details relating to your system. Another command you can run is the ipconfig. The ipconfig command will go ahead and give you details of your home network or wherever you're connected. It will give you details of your IP address, subnet mask, default gateway and other details there. 
You can also use the ipconfig command if you're trying to troubleshoot IP issues as well. So you can do a So you can do an ipconfig forward slash flush DNS. This will delete any cached DNS entries that are stored. You can also run a ipconfig register DNS. This will go ahead and register your DNS details. You can also run an ipconfig release. This will release the IP address that your machine is currently using, which is a good command if you're having connection issues. You can then run the ipconfig forward slash renew command to get a new IP address. If you open File Explorer, you can open command prompt by going up to the top bar here. And if you type in CMD and enter, that will open a command prompt window for you. You can change the time on your system by typing in time. This shows you the current time and allows you to put in a new time. So if we just put in a new time here, So if we type time again, you can see the time is now updated on your computer. The driver query command lists all the drivers installed on your computer. Incorrectly configured drivers or missing drivers can cause issues on your machine. If you run driver query with the dash V switch, this will give you more information on the drivers, including directories and startup types as well. So in command prompt, if you type in dir for directory, that gives you a list of all the folders that's actually in that directory. If you use the following command dir forward slash b forward slash s with the pipe and the sort command, this will go ahead and give you a sorted list of all the files and folders in that structure. So if we hit enter there, you'll see that gives you a list of all the folders and all the files that are contained within them.